Hi, and welcome to this talk on connecting subduction, extension, and shear localization across the agency and Anatolia by Sylvain Barbeau and Jonathan Weiss. The Mediterranean basin is the locus of a diffuse collision zone between the African, Arabian, and Eurasian tectonic plates at the western edge of the Alpine Himalayan orogenic belt. Despite the slow convergence of Africa and Arabia with Eurasia, the complex interplay of microplates within this collision zone creates regions that are deforming at disproportionately high rates. The Eastern Mediterranean is one such region that exhibits active tectonics characterized by the subduction of African lithosphere along the Mediterranean ridge, latitudinal extension across the Aegean, lateral extrusion of Anatolia uh, along the North Anatolian Fault, and northward tectonic indentation of um, Arabia along the Dead Sea Transform Fault. As a result, the Eastern Mediterranean is the most seismically active region in Europe. To shed new lights on the um, remaining questions uh, regarding uh, the roles of driving forces and perhaps rheology contrasts uh, across the region, uh, we, consider, we consider new constraints from uh, uh, geodetic data. Eastern Europe is monitored by a dense and extensive geodetic observatory that includes campaign and continuous GNSS stations. Um, so we consider the MIDAS uh, GNSS dataset uh, from uh, Blewitt and co-authors that in this uh, study area uh, includes close to 363 component uh, stations. We also include a compilation uh, by Noke and England um, that includes more than 700 two-component stations uh, that together provide a complementary uh, dense uh, coverage um, from Iran to Western Greece. These data reveal uh, rotation of uh, Anatolia and a westward uh, increase in interseismic velocities towards the Hellenic Trench. We also uh, include other constraints from synthetic aperture radar uh, from the work of uh, Weiss and co-authors that includes uh, ascending and descending Sentinel-1 INSAR line of sight velocities that are decomposed into east and up components and combined with the above mentioned GNSS velocity field um, to build a three component uh, velocity fields uh, across Anatolia. Uh, we then build a kinematic model of the region that includes the, the key uh, tectonic components. Uh, the surface displacements during the interseismic period are caused by slip on faults and viscoelastic flow in the ductile domain. The surface velocity field also includes a uh, uh, rigid motion, which is a combination of uh, overall translation and rotation uh, relative to um, an arbitrary reference frame. Um, tectonic components included in the model are the Hellenic Trench, uh, which is modeled here based on the SLAB2 model. We also include um, uh, volume elements in the mental wedge uh, to represent a possible SLAB retreat. And, um, we also allow horizontal plastic flow throughout Anatolia from Iran to Northern Greece uh, with semi-infinite triangle elements. Even though uh, these components are relatively minor, we also include creeping uh, down deep section of major faults in Anatolia and also creeping down deep extension of normal faults around the Gulf of Corinth, Evia, and Patras in Greece. We then cast uh, the problem as a linear inverse problem to retrieve the distribution of fault slip uh, faults on the mega thrust uh, and the distribution of plastic strain rate uh, throughout the region. Um, 
to do so, we, we match the domain um, the, in the ductal substrate with semi infinite triangle volume elements in Anatolia and polyhedral volume elements in the Hellenic mental wedge, combined with uh, triangle elements to represent the Hellenic trench. We then invert for the distribution of plastic strain rate and, um, and fold slip. We can characterize the resolution of the inverse problem by looking at the diagonal of the resolution matrix um, based on the, um, the, um, the avail available data. We have close to 4,000 uh, independent measurements that are used to constrain uh, less than 3,000 uh, model parameters. However, we regularize the inversion using uh, Tikhonov regularization, and that gives rise to a mildly underdetermined inverse problem. Uh, so the resolution is shown here in these figures for the strike slip component, and the deep slip component of slip, and the mega thrust, and for uh, two different components of um, plastic strain rate in the ductal domains. Uh, the resolution on um, and the mega thrust approach is one, uh, meaning that it's extremely well resolved. And uh, in the plastic strain rate uh, region, it varies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8, with an excellent resolution in Anatolia due to the presence of INSTAR. Um, and the resolution deteriorates uh, when the station coverage uh, becomes sparse or inexistent. We can also characterize the resolution by a checkerboard test. Uh, showing here that uh, very sharp uh, gradients of plastic strain rate can be well recovered, including the location and the orientation of plastic strain rate uh, in regions um, spanning Anatolia to Western Greece. And again, uh, this shows that the resolution deteriorates uh, uh, when the station distribution is less dense uh, towards Syria, Iraq, and Northern Iran. Uh, the model explain uh, the geodetic data very well, providing variance reduction of the MIDAS data uh, above 99%, uh, above 98% for the combination of Nokia and England, and above 98% for the INSAR velocity field. The data reduction for INSAR is uh, particularly spectacular with, um, again, a variance reduction above 98%. So, so the model is satisfactory in terms of uh, explaining the data. Uh, the inversion uh, reveals the pattern of um, slip on the mega thrust and plastic strain accumulation in the ductal substrates. The key results are that um, a major shear zone extends from northern Iran to uh, the Gulf of Avia in Greece, uh, representing a uh, transcontinental, translithospheric uh, shear zones. Um, uh, the deformation is also caused by uh, creep on the Hellenic subduction zone with an average rate of uh, 49.8 millimeter per year without discernible areas of interseismic locking. Uh, this um, slip velocity tapers to the east uh, to about 13.4 millimeter per year on the Cyprus arc. The, um, an important result is that the um, um, agency extension is channeled by a large offshore restraining band of the North Anatolian Fault Shear Zone uh, uh, west of the Sea of Marmor. The model allows us to uh, explain the, the underlying sources for uh, the rotation and uh, the westward increase of the velocity field. Uh, rotation is caused by uh, a large restraining bands along the North Anatolian Fault Shear Zone. Uh, that contributes to um, the trench retreat at the Hellenic Trench. And the westward uh, increase of interseismic velocities 
is due to a strong component of surface deformation that is caused uh, by slip on the Hellenic Trench. Uh, so we are then interested in uh, comparing the distribution of plastic strain rate with uh, deformation in the brittle crust, including seismicity. Uh, so the, the distribution of seismicity is concentrated in zones of rapid deformation, including the North Anatolian shear zone, the Hellenic Trench, the Gulf of Corinth and Evia, large gravens in Western Anatolia, and conjugate shear zones in Anatolia. This includes uh, the region of the very recent uh, earthquake offshore, the Menderes Graben, that caused uh, a tsunami in Western Turkey. We also noticed that um, the orientation of plastic strain rate um, is closely aligned to the focal mechanism of strike-slip earthquakes. There are two directions of uh, maximum shear in the, in the mantle. Uh, the dominant one uh, is uh, east-west and is aligned with the, the trace of the North Anatolian Fault shear zone that runs from the Turkish Iranian Plateau um, in eastern Turkey all the way to the North Asian Sea and the Gulf of Evia with major, uh, with major bends. And you can see how the, the, the orientation of the principal stress, principal strain, sorry, um, uh, rotates with the trace of the North Anatolian Fault. There is a second direction of maximum shear, which is antithetic. And this one uh, reveals the presence of uh, secondary shear zones that um, splay off the North Anatolian fault um, that um, allow us to, to show clearly that treating Anatolia, Anatolia as a rigid tectonic block uh, is an oversimplification. We also compare the distribution of plastic strain rate with um, the direction of seismic anisotropy in the mantle. Uh, and this result shows that um, plastic, uh, seismic anisotropy closely aligns with the direction of maximum extension of underlying uh, plastic strain rate in the mantle, um, showing uh, that there is a strong coupling between plastic anisotropy and seismic anisotropy, showing also a strong coupling between um, deformation in the mantle by ductal flow and the orientation of earthquakes and focal mechanisms in the brittle crust. To conclude, our kinematic model uh, illustrates the role that the North Anatolian Fault plays in accommodating tectonic indentation, slab wall back, and associated Aegean extension. Africa Eurasia convergence along the Hellenic arc occurs at a median rate of close to 50 million per year without discernible areas of interseismic locking and at a rate of 13 millimeter per year on the Cyprus arc. Anatolian escape is facilitated by a plate boundary like trans lithospheric shear zone extending from the Gulf of Evia to the Turkish Iranian plateau. Deformation within Anatolia is taken up by a series of additional conjugate shear zones that extend to the upper mantle, the largest of which is located beneath the East Anatolian Fault. Rapid extension of the agency is accommodated by broadening of the North Anatolian Mantle shear zone from the Sea of Marmara to the Gulf of Corinth, and by a system of rifts and transforms at the Western and Eastern boundaries.